Not so long ago, I hated cooking. And then Laura happened. Um, who am I? Well, my name is Ruta and I'm a Lithuanian currently living in Iran. I know! Every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go! Hi everyone! My name is Ruth and welcome to the 200th day of my challenge where you would think that by this time I would have learned not to film in the evening, right? No. <laughs> well, I know I shouldn't, but I will anyways, because today's recipe just screams dinner, and this is real life. I'm not making food uh, to give someone, I'm making to eat it, so yeah, we will deal with the lack of light in the best manner possible, with a smile, right? <laughs> so today, as I mentioned, I'm gonna try, did I mention, well, I mentioned in my head like 100 times already because I'm quite excited about this recipe, which is mac and cheese. Now, I'm not really sure if you would consider the other pasta bakes sorta of. I tried as mac and cheese uh, because well I don't know I don't think I've ever tried mac and cheese uh, unless you call the other ones that name as well so I don't know you let me know but in any way I feel like I'm gonna try some classic today and it's always really exciting especially when you don't have that classic in your country or wherever you're staying which is the case for me so I'm really really excited so uh, without chatting too much because I do tend to and this is evening I feel like I want to share my day with you so I will just mention one ingredient uh, namely pancetta which is called in this recipe now for obvious reasons me currently staying in Iran I cannot really find such ingredient or any kind of pork product for that matter um, I decided just to you know go and buy some yummy looking salami right like obvious <laughs> just because of pancetta I won't skip such a yummy recipe so that's the only sub substitution I will make uh, so now let's go over the ingredients and let's get started we're gonna need 250 grams of corkscrew pasta 480 milliliters of milk 200 grams of mozzarella grated 100 grams of cheddar grated 40 grams of parmesan grated as well 20 grams of breadcrumbs 100 grams of pancetta or some other yummy looking salami cut into small dice 50 grams of butter, 40 grams of flour, 2 teaspoons of olive oil, plus a little bit more for drizzling, and salt and pepper. Here's my little multitasking stationery, and weirdly, I'm not stressed out yet, but well, there's still time for that, so I don't know. It's so weird. This is, I think, the first time I don't feel like nervous about multitasking, but okay, let's see. So I will start with the pasta. That's why I have a large pot full of water coming to boil, and once it's boiling, I'm gonna season it with salt generously and actually I've learned this tip from one of you guys that is seasoning the water with salt after it comes to boil thank you for that so once that's done I'm gonna add my pasta and cook it a little bit less than al dente which basically means three minutes less than the package instruction says once that's done I'm just gonna drain it and here simultaneously I'm still so like it's so weird for me that I'm not nervous have I learned multitasking? Oh my god. So here I have a small pan with the olive oil already preheating over medium high heat. Once it's hot, I'm gonna add my pancetta and I'm gonna cook it three to four minutes uh, until the edges become crispy. Then I'm gonna remove it with a slotted spoon to a plate, maybe the same plate, why not? And then I will proceed with the white sauce. Now 
we can start with the white sauce and I've actually started by warming my milk in the microwave for two minutes and now I will melt this butter in this pot which I really hope will be big enough but well I think it will <laughs> let's see I will melt the butter over medium high heat Why there was so much smoke while melting the butter, I will never know. But now I will add the flour and while stirring constantly, I will cook it for one minute. Okay, and now while slowly, slowly adding the milk and stirring constantly, I will add it all of it slowly <laughs> and then cook it for five minutes. Ooh, this is glorious with some lumps because note to self this isn't the best pot for making a uh, sauce i don't know why i actually smell caramel can you explain why i don't know but oh so now i will season it with some salt and pepper and then add all of the cheddar all of the mozzarella and half of the parmigiano and just mix everything together at this point i'm turning on my oven to preheat to 200 degrees and now i brought my pasta back because i will put it back to the pot and i'm just checking if there's any water there so oh i almost <laughs> Man, talk about wanting some dinner. So I'm gonna add the pasta back to the pot, then take about two thirds of the sauce. You don't really need to be super precise, which is a really strange thing for me to say. I'm like a queen of precise measurements. So somewhat two thirds of the sauce because the remainder will be just to spread over the top and you want to mix this very, very nicely. If it ever goes to the pot, do you want? Do you want? I want! Go, go, go! Well, doesn't really want to go. Man, I did not expect to stop at this point. Go, pasta, go! Wait, I totally forgot something. Where is the pancetta? Okay, pancetta also <laughs> into the pasta. Yum, yum, yum. This is looking so promising, I have to say. Okay, now this has to go into a casserole dish. Now I will top it with the remainder of the sauce, then I will sprinkle the breadcrumbs, the remainder of the parmigiano, I will drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top and into the oven she goes for 25 minutes. I'm just so excited. This, this will be hot. I want to try it so much. I don't know what, but it smells amazing. This is so good. I'm trying 
not to go into my squeaky voice mode, but it's really hard. Man, this is rich. And the crusty top. Crunchy. I'm like losing the gift of speech. I'm like so excited, I faint from happiness. This looks so good. And so creamy, so rich. Good that I have, I will be exercising tomorrow. I'm seriously, I'm having trouble talking. So, okay, last bite. Okay, pastel forno. And that other, what was that, vegetable, pasta bake, something like that, is nothing like this. They are really good, don't get me wrong, but this is an entirely different beast. I feel like this is so fattening, <laughs> but it's so good. I feel like the tastiest food is usually <laughs> not the healthiest one, but... I know I will devour this and I will look for more, but maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> so anyways, if you want, go and check the original recipe by Laura there. The reason the one is always in both American and the metric systems, because I am a metric system girl, is in the description down below. I really hope that you had fun and that you found this helpful. If looking at me right now, doesn't inspire you to just go and try it out. Oh, I brought the camera so far away so that you could see this. But if you could click this, can you see? Can you see the cheesiness and gooiness inside? Man, I wish I could just send it to you. <laughs> Are you a fan of mac and cheese? Here, you're saying a fan being born because this is apparently seriously my first mac and cheese and before it gets cold i will be running away so thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye